What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm filming my intro after the fishing trip because I wanted to show you what I caught and I'm going to show you how I caught them. But check this out guys. This is a one man limit of offshore mangrove snapper. I found these guys about 20 miles offshore. Picked up a bonus red snapper because it is still red snapper season. But tune in. I'm going to show you guys how I caught these fish and uh, maybe some misinformation will be useful and will help you guys in the future. Alright guys, I am on a reef out here in the Gulf, and I pulled up here and I've got a sabiki on, hanging lots of stuff on the bottom. I need to get some bait. I was getting some live cigar minnows over there near the pass, near the shore. That kind of dried up, so we're going to be out here on this little spot getting some bait. If I can keep them pinned, for some reason these sabikis like to let them go. A quick drop to the bottom usually will result in something. What was that? Okay, let's go back to the bottom. I've caught a little bit of everything on this sabiki so far. Rubies, we've caught cigar minnows, we caught a red snapper, caught a little vermilion snapper. What is this? It's like the mystery box. Every time we drop, there's a ruby. That's bait. Right, check these little things out. Kind of a, I think this is a species of grunt, but we call them ruby red lips because and I'll show you in a minute. Look inside this guy's mouth and look how bright red that is. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little fish, but we're gonna keep him for bait. A good healthy, hearty bait. Let's go back down. See if we can fill a live well up with some live bait. I've actually caught legal vermilion snapper on a sabiki in this spot. Look at them right here. They're swirling the boat. Just tons of bait down here. Tons and tons of bait. Just that quick to the bottom. <laughs> this might be too big for bait. This might be another little baby snapper. Come on up, guys. What do we got? What do we got? Foul hooked pinfish. All right, that's bait too. We'll take him. All right. Kind of got some boat weight coming through. Stay. All right. And a flopping fish on a sabiki rig is a good way to get a hook in your hand. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Foul hooked pinfish on a sabiki rig. Interesting. Okay, that's catch number two. All right. All right, I moved up a few feet. It's hard to see like our bait's on the bottom again. So dropping back down. Well, this guy's coming in hot, isn't he? Sure he is. There he goes. It's a nice boat. Really nice boat. One day the Gilman Fishing Channel might up upgrade vessels to something like that. One day. All right, we have another ruby red here. These guys are awesome bait. All right, let's get him in the live well. Okay, let's go back to the bottom. Ruby for bait. All right, guys, we have moved offshore and right here, big live sardine. And we're going to go down. I'm pinging all kinds of stuff about 30 foot off the bottom. Let's go see what we can get. Got a little rough out here. Supposed to be one foot, but you know how the weatherman is. You know, they, they like to lie these days. And But we're not too far off, and it's not too untolerable, so we're going to drop to the bottom, and we'll see if we get anything. 
Water is about 90 foot. And I am pinging fish. So let's see if we can coax them into biting. Guys, we are on. We are on, guys. I don't know what it is. It's not very big. Oh, Jesus, it is. Let's get him up. Let's get him up. Get him up. Get him up. What is this, guys? I think it's a shark. This is a snapper, he's a good one. Come on, big boy, what are you? What is this? Little baby AJ. All right, not a targeted species, but cool catch nonetheless. He is too small. But let me get my pliers and I'll get the hook out of his mouth and we'll send him on his way. I thought I had a nice snapper. All right, let me get him up. That's pretty cool. Little baby AJ. All right, get the hook out of his mouth. All right, pretty cool catch nonetheless. Check him out, guys. Little baby amberjack, out of season, too small. Goodbye, fella. All right, let's go back down again. Let's see if we can come up with something legal. Like a nice big snapper would be great. All right, going back to the bottom. That's my snapper. That's my snapper, guys. We're on, guys. We're on, guys. I think this is my snapper. I think this is my snapper. It sure feels like a snapper. All right, what we got? Oh geez, it is a mangrove snapper. All right, we'll take him. It's a healthy little mangrove. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we'll take that. Nice healthy little mangrove. Throw him in the cooler. All right, uh, snapper number one. Good deal. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, guys, we're on. We're on. Probably another baby, AJ. This might be another snapper. Yeah, buddy, I think this is a snapper. This is fighting like a snapper. All right, come on. We got us a snapper, guys. And we do. We have us another nice mangrove. Look at that mangrove, guys. That's a nice one. Check this out, my friends. This is what I like to catch right here. Okay, let's get a measurement on this guy. This is the biggest one I've caught in a while. Come here. All right. Let's see here what we got. Guys, that is a solid mangrove snapper, fellas. 18 inches. We're gonna get him on ice. That is a solid, solid fish, my friends. Let's see if we can do this without losing him. All right. Fish number two. You can... Come here. Come here, guys. Come here, buddy. There we go. All right. Fish number two on live bait. All right. What we're using today is I've got a pin battle three. 6,000 reel on a really, really inexpensive 
Grand Slam Walmart special rod. It's a pretty thick, pretty heavy rod. 50 pound braid, 50 pound fluorocarbon leader, about four foot of it with a four ounce sinker, seven knot circle hook. And we're just using these live cigar minnows or I don't know if they're cigar minnows or if they're sardines or whatever they are, but so far it's working. These big mangroves are down here and they're hungry. And if we can get two or three more of them, it'll make for a great day of fishing. Come here. Now this right here, guys, I think is a sar is a cigar minnow. If I'm not mistaken, if this is not a cigar minnow, please comment below. Let me know what you think this fish is. I'm using for bait so far. These guys are working to catch catch the fish for today. Okay, let's go back down. And these mangroves are hitting right on the bottom, it seems like. But I'm pinging fish up high. I don't know what they are. We are showing fish up in the water column. I think it's triggers. But thankfully, on the bottom, we're not having to deal with them too much. But if I can catch three more mangroves like that, this is going to make for a great fishing day. Okay, guys, we're on. Okay, guys, we're on again, guys. Feels like another one of those AJs. That's an AJ. Another one of those juvie AJs, I believe. This is pulling too hard for a snapper. Goodness. Come on. Man, these guys are fun to catch. No, these guys are a blast. Dude, this is a red snapper. All right, we'll take him too. All right, guys, broke me off. Good thing I boat flipped that dude when I had the chance right there because he flipped straight up. Look at this, look at my leader. Talk about pulling through the wrecks. <laughs> totally broke me off, but that's good fish. That is a good fish. It's a good chance to need to be retired anyways. But this is a nice legal red snapper. We are still in red snapper season, so we're going to keep this guy. Come here. These guys have to be 16 inches. We'll get a measurement on him anyways. Just like that. He needs to have as a healthy, that is a healthy 20 inch red snapper, as you can see. But that's pretty cool. I'm going to get my fish grabber. Show him to the camera. Hey guys, this is a healthy red snapper. Caught him on live bait. 20 inches long, he's gonna go good with that. Those two nice mangroves we got. So let's get him on ice. All right, and I'm gonna retie. We'll get back down. I only have a few more baits left, but we'll see what we can come up with. Okay, guys, this is what we got now big healthy piece of cut cigar minnow on the same rig we were using for live bait and we are fishing the bottom i still have my pinfish free lining out behind the boat at the moment i still see stuff swimming around the top of the water i don't think they want to eat that pinfish i was kind of hoping it was maybe cobia swimming around the top of this reef out here but i don't know what it is it's probably triggers but pinfish is out there if something wants to jump on it he's there but we're gonna go back to the bottom see if we can pick up one or two more of those big mangrove snapper maybe we can catch a limit of those there he is there he is that quick guys on the cut bait and he broke me off Goodness, that was a big, big snapper. Broke me right off on the cut bait. Okay, that's part of fishing. That's how it goes. I'm gonna re rig and we're gonna go back down and keep using this cut bait. 
Okay, we got him this time, guys. We got him, guys, on a fresh retie. It ain't as big as the last one. That last one that broke me off was huge. This time you feel like a snapper. It is. It's a mangrove. He ain't as big as the last one, but he'll keep. You get one more of these guys, we've got a limit. All right. Okay. All right, come here, dude. We'll take you. We'll take you. All right. Get you on eyes. One, two, three. This is number four. We've got a red to go with it. Come on. All right. Need some more cut bait. And we'll get one more of those guys. Gee whiz. Rex down there. They do a number on your leaders. All right, guys. This is it. We on. We got him. We got him, guys. That's a good one. That's a good snapper. <clears throat> All right, this is a mangrove. We got a limit. This feels like a red. Feels like a big red. <sighs> Goodness. Feels like a big red. No, that's a big mangrove. Wow. Guys, we have a limit of some big offshore mangroves here. <sighs> All right. And what it took was cut bait. I think this is the biggest one of the day. Let's see if he breaks 18. I don't think so, but we're going to see. Right. No, sir. He does not, but he is right, almost right at 18. All right. Good deal. That's what I'm talking about. I think we found our mangroves, guys. I think this is going to be the last fish of the day for me before I have to head back. All right. Anyways, guys, that's him. One big, healthy offshore mangrove snapper. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. If Facebook's your thing, head on over to the Gilman Fishing Facebook page and hit the follow button. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.